And now they get to play another top team of the conference on the road against the Buckeyes. Deshaun Tate touching it early. And they try to go inside Caleb Wesson, two wide turnover. Nice job by Moss filling in on the weak side. Anticipating Wesson catching the ball, I think I was going to double team the post. So doubling the post, what else is going to be a recipe if I was going to pull off this upset as Isaiah Moss hits the runner? They're going to have to give Kata Bates Diop a lot, a lot of different looks. So they'll put bigs on him. They'll put a guy like a mod Wagner. You'll see Nicholas Bear with his turn trying to guard him. Just trying to keep him off balance. Into Wesson against two defenders. And he's play. Just got caught up in the air and got in bad position. You know, getting you in foul trouble and getting into your legs a little bit. He does score there to cut the lead in half. Tell me pregame on this end of the floor, you're going to be curious to see how Ohio State defends Cook. Yeah, because Cook is a tough matchup. You know, you put Jay Sean Tate on him, you can put Kata Base D up on him, but he's got an advantage either way. Be interested to see if Iowa continues to go to him. Here's Garza with a beautiful hey. shot fake. Got up in the air, a little contact, no foul. Luka Garza will get better at finishing those situations. He's such a good jump shooter, you have to respect that shot. Off of Iowa. The national championship on his belt. Thad Mata's got two Final Fours, so if that's any, indi any indication, they're going to have a good time here in Ohio State. Splitting the defenders, lost it, but Wesson cleans it up for two. So you see Ohio, or Iowa trying to double the post each time. Bohannon open three in and out. And then over the back. Four on the road. They've got wins over both Michigan State and obviously Purdue with that last game. The only loss to Penn State here on that buzzer beater. Better believe Tony Carr and company will be ready for the Buckeyes. They have a lot of confidence coming after coming in here. Kata makes Dion. He has a lot of confidence. Ball handling the building. Extremely tough matchup. First basket since then. It's a 6-0 run. Iowa's got to find a way to get the ball to Tyler Cook on the post. He's coming off 26-point performance in that loss against Michigan State. Late shot clock behind and has to heave, and he got it. In the gym range for Jordan Bohannon. Yeah, he shot that from Cincinnati. Bohannon, excellent on the road, shooting the three. It's his 76 triple of the year, most of the Big Ten. This time the double leaves, so Wesson and Garza one-on-one. -on -one. He's just going to face up and miss a 15-footer. He let Garza off the hook that time. On the other end, Garza collects. So these two going head-to-head, -head, and Garza shows the agility. Yeah, hey, Luca Garza's a gamer. He's going to go hard. That's the only way he knows how to play is all out. A good job by Cook getting him the basketball where he could score. Garza, one of the young bucks on this Iowa team, freshman from Washington, D.C. Tina Bates Diop against Wagner. Here comes help. So he kicks it up to Andre Wesson. Brother cleaning up the miss. Cam matchup. They had 15 offensive rebounds for the Hawkeyes, and that's really something that Ohio State wanted to eliminate here tonight. I was so big. Like, they can throw Garza, Jack Nunji, Bear, uh, Ryan Creener. I mean, all of these guys, long, athletic guys. Garza showing that athleticism again, and he even sings at night apiece. <laughs> Iowa seems to be scoring at a rate similar to their last game, that loss at home to Michigan State. They don't have a problem scoring the ball. This is where they struggle to find consistency. Pull off the upset. They need Cook, and then they need that man Bohannon to really step up here on the road. Jayshon Tate, and the fans call him the Swiss Army Knife, does a little bit of everything. He's got it on the left wing. Taking it to the rack. He really does it all, doesn't he? He does, and it, he, he recognized it was a matchup zone, 
And so it had man to man tendencies early. But he put it on the deck and got to the paint and made something happen. Second on the team in points, rebounds, and assists, Jay Sean Tate. Senior from right here in the Buckeye State. Bohannon, short. And the rebound to CJ Jackson, smallest guy on the floor. Nice block. Fantastic strip by Moss. And then Moss will stop and pop. Tell you what, Brandon, Iowa's not going to win this game if Tyler Cook continues to not touch the basketball. He does not have one shot attempt yet. Tana Bates Diop, his second three, Ohio State by five. Good job of finding Bates Diop in the secondary fast break situation. Yeah, Cook, though, has been out there the entire game. He's got it now. Let's see if he gets a shot up. He cleared everybody out. He wants to take Tate by himself. There you go, right on cue. I mean, he, he can dominate that matchup. Tate is a, a willing defender, but he's given up four inches. Tyler Cook can go anywhere he wants to if he's guarded one-on-one. -on -one. Leads the team in points and rebounds. The, the sophomore from St. Louis tied on him. Oh, Iowa has four team fouls so far. Over six minutes gone by. Moss leaning. Off the heel, cleared out by Micah Potter, who's coming to the game. Gets limited minutes for Chris Holtman. Good patience that time. I thought C.J. Jackson was going to force that pass inside, but elected to move it. C.J. Jackson with a shot. No, Potter died. Didn't look like there was much there. Potter with a left hand no. And a rebound by Iowa. I think traditional bigs like to play against Iowa because they've got guys there solid. A solid 20 minutes a game this year. The story's well documented, but he's supposed to be headed off to Quinnipiac for his final year, but they are happy he is a part of this Ohio State team, and the ball comes right to him, leading the break. Here's Potter. Rejected by the rim, Iowa for a hot second. Oh, yeah, his teammates are going to clown in the film session tomorrow on that one. Tony blew a tire on the way up. Inside Cook, three there, and it's dislodged. Boy, they were like a magnet on Cook when they that Ohio State, they, they don't get enough credit for their team defense. They are outstanding. I mean, Hill closed at Purdue on a 25 to 10 run to close the game. It was 63 points. That's the fewest Purdue scored all year. That's right. So this is an outstanding defensive ball club. Effort. F for execution. E for execution. And Big 10, just a touch above Tony Carr of Penn State. One of two for K to Bates Diop, and he has seven. I was got to be careful here. Again, I think this ball needs to go to Tyler Cook. Let him go one on one. I think that's a good matchup on this side if they can get it to him. He had it. Oh, Hannah, that's a clear foul. He got the helmet in the pad. Yeah. You're all exposed. You're, I was just going to say that. You're exposed. Ohio State by four early. Nicholas Bear didn't start, was a six man of the year in the conference last year into the game. Bo Hannon hits it from the free throw line. Nice curl. Yeah, that was a nice set play that time. There's a little misdirection. Bo Hannon goes on the baseline, receives a down screen, and reads the defense beautifully. Iowa settling into a little zone here out of the timeout. Dockage. Traveled. And six assists, but not quite back to 100%. Dog days of college basketball. Inside, nice feed. Oh, Macy Daly should have finished that. Yeah, I, I think he should dunk that. He's six seven. Could easily get up on the rim. He's some rose for Daly. He's got 15 friends and family in the crowd. He's from Cleveland, just a couple hours away. Turnover by West at Ohio State's four. This matchup zone is giving Ohio State some issues here early. Bohannon, top of the arc, he has eight. His teammates start looking for Jordan once he gets hot. He starts seeing the ball. One of the reasons this matchup zone is so tough, you've got Macy Daly at 6'7", 
on one wing. Nicholas Bear at 6'7", 6'8", on the other wing. So very difficult to pass around these guys. A lot of length, long arms. Dockage wide of the intended to hope they get along, because me and my older brother, half the time might have been fighting if he came to see all my <laughs> There was a great article in the paper yesterday with the point register. Nice finish inside. There's Cook. But Chad Lysdicko, a great article on that relationship and him attending all of the games of Jordan Bohan and really, really special. Jackson catch and release. Well, Iowa doing a fantastic job here in the last three defensive possessions. And Ohio State already three offensive rebounds, but not lately. They she daily. 13 points in 17 minutes against Michigan State. That time a little long. You see this, sometimes Iowa just forgets where their bread is buttered. Got it, let Cook touch the rock. Offensive board, put back Caleb Wesson. See if they get it to Cook here, they do, and he attracts all sorts of attention. The leak out, CJ Jackson. Ooh, almost turned it over. Trying to be too unselfish. Instead of running in and getting the sure two. Fortunate that worked out. Chris Holtman's face during that sequence was, oh, you're lucky that you caught that and slammed it home. <laughs> Fifth lead change in this game. Offensive foul. Trying to find the groove, though, defensively, as you were talking about, giving up 84 and a half points a game in conference play. Weston trying to go to work again. Ooh, in and out. That's what it was, a little verticality. Oh, after being shut out against Purdue, he already has 10 points and four rebounds. We haven't played 12 minutes. They wanted, Ohio State wanted to get into the front line of Iowa, get some fouls on them. They're doing a good job of that early. Iowa had a 7-0 run. Now it's a 6-0 run for Ohio State. And then a turnover. Gator Bates D. I saw Jackson late, but it still works. And Fran McCaffrey. Coach in South Florida under Brian Gregory. Great guy as a son with autism and really a, a neat movement to try to try to raise awareness of money for that cause. Bottled up. Iowa needs a bucket here. Trying to stop the Ohio State momentum. The freshman Jack Nunji stepping into the mid-range. That's a 6'11 freshman with an up fake at three. Power dribble to get away from the defense and sticks a jump shot. The future is bright in Iowa City. Hey, you think about all the youth, their top four scorers are either freshmen or sophomores. Yeah, they, they, you know, I think that they're really a point guard away from being up echelon. Big Ten team, they got a ton of talent inside. Three in the corner, knocked down Andre Wesson. How about the game he had against Purdue, career high 13 points. He gets a lot of credit for those threes he hit in the scoring, but he did a fantastic job defensively on Isaac Hobbs down the stretch. He and Musa Jallo had 23 of their 64 in West Lafayette. Chris Holman said, hey, that, that was the difference, that was the X factor. You know, when you're, you're going to have an upset, you need some guys to step up that, are, that you may not account for at the end of the game. Great pass. Data Baker is really confident coming from the tournament at Mackey Arena. Maybe it does give you that confidence. Oh, yeah. yeah he's, uh, they've got to get a high-quality shot here. Again, Cook on the bench with those two fouls. Isaiah Moss searching for space. Dungey had it knocked loose. Two to shoot. Nice job, Luca Garza. And Luca Garza screaming and one. I think he got fouled there, but love the young fella's energy. First offensive rebound for Iowa. Something that we said, Ohio State's really trying to live it. They've done a good job until that possession. Jackson, good from distance. Jackson, for Jackson really looking for his shot early on. Trying to provide that offensive balance for the Buckeyes. 
He has missed 10 straight threes over the last couple of games, so good for him to see that drop through. Guys are right to the rim. Great assist, Jordan Bohannon. Nice two-man basketball right there. A little confusion on the Buckeyes' part. Bohannon, great vision. Bohannon over five assists a game, one of the best in the conference. Okay, debates Diop going to work. Wesson tried to keep it alive. Nungi into Garza. Bates Diop. So both teams in the bonus the rest of the way. Side Garza going to work off the glass oh. in and out. To Luca Garza inside. It's four of six from the floor this time. Moss head on. No. Potter. Hemsel very good defense in the post. I got Luca Garza on base Diop. He wants the ball. He goes to work, drops it off. Easy deuce, Michael Potter. Base Diop's vision is so good when he's making a move. He's never premeditated. He can always adjust. By arcing three, no good. Garza 32% from outside the arc this year. Okay, to Bates Diop, you're right. He seems to be an exceptional decision maker off the dribble because he attracts so much attention. He's got those opportunities. Right now, uh, it's an incredible run thus far. I like what Chris had to drink. Yeah, and right. how much? And how much? Yeah, that was, that was a great line. Yeah, let me know. Ohio State had the poise to come back down 14 in the second half to get that one. Shows you the, the medal that this team has. Pimsel cutting right to the rim. Another assist for Bohannon. You know, Iowa can hit you with some scoring runs. Just have to find that couple stops on this end. It did get lost in the mix, though, in that Purdue game. You're right. They trailed 53-439. The Buckeyes did by 14 before mounting that comeback. Andrew Dockage. Well, he doesn't shoot often, but when he does, he's very effective. Hey, he uh, comes up, almost came over the steal there. But. <laughs> Papa Dan Dockage, I'm sure, looking on with great pride. Inside of three minutes to go in the half. Pimsel needs some help. Out to Nunji. Long range three. In and out. Pimsel offensive board. And a great feed inside to Jack Nunji. That was great vision by Cordell Pimsel. Tell you what, these three along the front line have been very good for Iowa keeping this thing within single digits. Pimsel's kind of an unsung hero. He doesn't get a lot of the attention, but he's been playing really well for them. CJ Jackson with another triple. He now has eight. And that just really hurts you. You're on the road and you got an opportunity to miss the front end. It's almost like a turnover. Now still down 39-28, and that could have made it 42. Iowa escapes with a rebound. Biggest lead of the game for Ohio State. Tapped by Tate right into the hands of Jack Nunji. I was fortunate that time. Bohannon put up a heat check. Nunji, right spot, right time. Free throw that Iowa missed. That's the only free throw they've attempted. And Ohio State 7 of 11 at the line. That's one big difference in this half. Oh, that's, a, that's an elbow. They may go look at that. Yes. When you turn with that elbow that high, they're going to call a foul. They have to. Breakthrough, Gene Steratore and Lamont Simpson. Here's the pick. And then Jackson almost lost it. Still found his way to the basket and the foul. Hits the free throw. 
He now has 11. Ohio State biggest lead in a dozen. Iowa with the feeling they need a bucket going into the locker. They've got to get some good momentum. Jack Nunchy. Dockage almost stripped it. Oh, they're going to call a foul on Ohio State. He was just saying, what, what do I have to do here to get that whistle? Well, he's a good spark off the bench. Knocks down both. He now has eight in this first half. First time we've seen a three-quarter court pressure by Iowa with Nicholas Bear at the top. Five-second difference shot in game clock. Possibly a high pick and roll here. And CJ Jackson might be Tate. It could be. It looks like it's going to be Tate. Jackson leads all scores with 11. He's in trouble. And that's going to be a turnover. He had absolutely nowhere to go. Great single digits. Bohannon. Nowhere near. At intermission. You're up 10. The base Diop doesn't have to carry you offensively. That's a good sign for Ohio State. Iowa continuing to mix defenses a little bit. Yeah, a little 1 3 1 here with Ahmad Wagner on the top. Leaves an open K to Bates Diop, but he's short. Cook. See if they try to get him a post touch. Mod Wagner didn't. He had him. Didn't wait for him to set up. Just went the opposite way. And now they're late shot clock again. Bohannon trying to pull a rabbit out of his hat. Offensive board though, Moss. Cook on the baseline. There you go. 15 footer. Got him. Got him a look. Got some confidence and see how he responds to that. Good help defensively that time. It's going to be good for Iowa, not so good for Ohio State. That foul, by the way, was on Ahmad Wagner, his third. Wide open inside. How'd they lose Caleb Wesson? Yeah, get the ball to that elbow or that free throw line area against the zone. It becomes Bowman. He now has a dozen. And there's Ahmad Wagner. He's from a suburb of Dayton, just a 50-minute drive from here. 19 friends and family out to see him. Ahmad Wagner can straight line drive. Try to put pressure. I believe it's Base D. I'm trying to guard him. Jackson. Well, after missing 10 straight threes coming into this game, he's now hit three tonight. Well, he's locked in, too. It just shows you that this Ohio State team is one that's really tough and mentally prepared each and every night. Cars are battling and drawing the foul. He's a recipient this go around. Cook hey. short. Tough to go against Jay Sean Tate. He doesn't give you many inches defensively. No, he's he can body up Cook, one of the two guys on this team that can do so. Tate Bates, Diop on the baseline. Great illustration of Kata's length. He was almost underneath the backboard and extended for the finger roll. 13 point lead, a little bit of a danger zone now for the Hawkeyes. Contact here. He thought he got fouled. Leads to a three on two. Jackson on the kick out for Wesson. Hey. Offensive board, Jay Shot Tate. There's another one of those second chance point buckets. Yep. And that was just they demoralize you. You're trying hard, you're, you're defending, and if you can't close, close out and get the defensive, uh, the defensive glass. They get on the offensive glass, it just wears you down. Largest lead for Ohio State, they've got it back. Bates Diop. Cook goes above the rim. Where 
is Iowa going to find that offense not there for Bohannon? It's a poor decision. He did that in the first half. You can't get them all back in one shot, Brandon. You only get three points or two points, but you got to give your teammates an opportunity to get in position before you take a shot like that. Talked about it, the powerful Iowa offense against this great Ohio State defense, and I would say the Ohio State defense has won the battle so far. Yeah, it usually does. And the Ohio State offense is coming to play. For Ohio State at 25 or more assists, and the last time that happened was on their Final Four team in 2011-2012. I don't know if that's a prognostication, but <laughs> for what it's worth, Cook steps into it. Yeah, you know, basketball's not hard. You, know, you share the basketball, you got guys with skills that can shoot it. You rebound the basketball, defend, you can be pretty good. Those are gravy points for Micah Pottery now as a half dozen. And Iowa, they can't keep doing that with a basketball if they have any chance of coming back. Yeah. Ohio State doesn't give you much margin for error. Garza doesn't want to pick up that next foul, so he's very loose on the offensive end. And Cook just willing his way to the basket. That stops a 14-0 run. <laughs> Micah Potter looks like he's telling the bench he wants to a blow there after that exchange with Cook. You see that a lot in Big Ten play. Whenever somebody's trying to guard Cook, they come away grimacing. <laughs> oh, that time Cook got backdoored. Probable story continues where Purdue, still in my opinion, one of the premier teams in all of college basketball. But this is the Big Ten Conference. You get down the stretch. Those games become more and more difficult. The team scouts so well. And it was tough to go in the Breslin Center and come out with a victory. Yeah, Purdue had that 19 game win streak on the road to close the regular season. Ohio State doing a good job being very sound and not having a letdown in this game like some thought they might after that emotional victory in West Lafayette. I think you're right, though. Anybody that starts to sleep on Purdue, that's that's a huge mistake. I agree. Adjustments John Beeline can make, some of the best in the business. Purdue's four losses, though, none of them have been by more than four points. They lost those two early in the trip down to Atlanta. And then the last two games by one and then three today. Point lead now for the Buckeyes. Boy, they got they got that lead. The Buckeyes did it out quick. Different options that we showed. Yeah, CJ Jackson, the way he's shooting the three. Kata base D out can get you at any point. Boy, guards are lucky he didn't get off an offensive foul. This Ohio State defense continues to swarm. Everything has been contested. Trying to get it to Cook at the rim. He wasn't available. And then Dockett stripped it. Off to Tate. Good block by Nicholas Bear. That's what we used to see from Nicholas Bear coming off the bench providing hustle play. And he leaves it for Bohannon in transition. He now has 11. First Iowa player in double figures. Jason Tate going to initiate the offense. Said a Swiss Army knife. Nothing he can't do on the floor. And he may only be 6'4, Jay Shante, but he plays a lot bigger than that. Yes, he does. Here he is outside the arc. <laughs> so you study long, you study wrong. He, he caught the shot there. Might have been better, a better outcome. Where'd you hear that? Study long, study wrong. I kind of like that. Yeah, that's an old school scene we used to use back in the day. Whenever you have an open shot, a point lead, Iowa extending that pressure of the backcourt. Caused a little trouble. Ohio State does get it across. It's a good thing that three quarter court pressure because now it's under 12 seconds on the shot clock. Kata Bates, Diaz. Sometimes he's so tall that three looks like a line drive, but it drops. 
I mean, he backed up, looked down, made sure his feet were set, and still got it on. Nice move. Pitzel taking Potter to school. Ohio State's been really good, only seven turnovers. That second half of Purdue, they had just one turnover. And they know where the ball needs to go. An idea of who they want in this situation. Andrew Dockage and one. Sean Santonio Holmes on the big screen there. Former Ohio State Buckeye wide out. And he had on a flannel button-up shirt, and he unbuttoned it and had an Ohio State T-shirt underneath, and the crowd erupted. They put his name up there. Pretty cool. It is cool. Have your lungs come back and support athletics here at Ohio State. Maybe his heel is in the restricted area. Games in double digits. Michigan and down double digits against Purdue. That's two of the top five teams in the league. Ohio State Buckeyes defense, I'm telling you, is just so underrated. You mentioned those deficits that they faced in conference play to Chris Holtman before the game, and he just gave you that look like, yeah. And come back as collectively as a group. Illinois, Illinois thought they were going to pull off the upset earlier this year. That was some game. I, I was here for that one. Illinois defensively would force the turnovers like they love to do, but Ohio State settled down and made the right adjustments. Dom Ewell into the game, as is Ellingson. So some guys that don't normally get a lot of minutes Fran McCaffrey's putting out there. And at this point, I mean, it, they're really having a difficult time on the defensive end. Diop stays on 14 points. He's three of six from outside the arc after that last miss. Three and ten in conference play for this Iowa team. I know a lot of folks, especially in the state of Iowa, were expecting a better year than this. Coming off last year, people said, oh, they got a lot of youth back because they had the youngest lineup ever a season ago. That Made some guys play out of position a little earlier in the year. Brady Ellingson was seeing some time at point guard. We'll put him behind the eight ball. Corey, we're keeping our eye on C.J. Jackson over there on the bench. That fan's obviously hoping that you're right, Stephen, that that's just a cramp. Dockage, late shot clock. Right on line, but a little long. Yeah, well, I can see C.J. killing that. That whatever's in that Gatorade bottle. So they're trying to get fluids in and rubbing his leg down. That would appear to be a cramp. Nice block at the apex by Wesson. Wesson's done that a couple times tonight. Oh! On the other end, getting a cramp situation. I really like Caleb Wesson. I think he would be outstanding before his time is done here in Columbus. He's a really skilled big man. has a great feel for the game. He has 14 points, does the freshman from West. He just walks straight into the tunnel, into the locker room. Bohannon. Bohannon, three of eight from outside the arc. He looked good in the first half. And Ohio State making the adjustments to close out on him and not allow him to have those easy looks like he was getting earlier in the game. We want two. We want two. We want two. We want two. Dion fumbled, recovered, and then off of 70 points, but maybe more importantly, holding Iowa, a team that averages over 80 a game to 47. Luzicello with his first bucket. He's coming off an outstanding game with his Purdue, so both he and Andrew, Andre Wilson seems to be spillover from the Purdue game. Back-to-back -back buckets. That young man just turned 18 a couple weeks ago. 
Keeps it really bright here for Ohio State. Those 10 points against Purdue. He hadn't scored in the previous nine games, Musa Jala. And that's something. So I, you know that Matt Painter was just saying, oh, come on. You know, <laughs> right. we, we filed a scouting report. These guys burned it. <laughs> Got great position for the offensive board. Hustled it up, no, got it again, and fouled. He just has not let up. 15 point is he's got some guys in K to base D up. Jay Sean Tate that come around. They can kind of school him a little bit. They can get him in good position. And you know, he's a willing learner. Yeah, he's been spectacular for Chris Holtman. Be a big part to the future here in Columbus. Garza had Cook for a second, missed him, kick out to Bear, and that rattles down. And finally, Iowa's hit 50. Right now, if you're the Hawkeyes, you want to just get some good feeling. This last six minutes of the game, stick with your principles. Don't break away from what you're trying to do. This one appears to be out of hand, but. Always want to build some good, good habits regardless of the school. Well, as they go down the stretch, they're trying to avoid that first day of playing games. The bottom four teams have to play on February 28th at Madison Square Garden, but I guarantee you ask any coach in this league, with how Iowa can score, it's tough for them, but like you're saying, they can get hot, and they've got enough depth for where they can get hot, they can stay hot, and, and pose problems. Three-pointer good by Jack Nunji. That's what Fran McCaffrey was saying to us this morning at shoot around. I mean, heck, we put up 93 against Michigan State. The obvious problem is we gave up 96. Dakic had it swatted by Luca Garza. And then the steal, Andre Wesson. getting sloppy for the Hawkeyes. And all the Ohio State Buckeyes, they really look to share the ball with each other. That's one of the more impressive things about this team. Very unselfish. 17 assists on the 28 made field goals for Ohio State. Players who have come in the game have scored for Chris Holtman. Do they punch you right out of the halftime break to see how you respond? Hawkeye just didn't have a response. Ten point lead at intermission. Quick. Five different Big Ten teams have scored 90 on Iowa. And Ohio State may become the sixth. You just have to, especially in this conference, you have to develop some toughness on the defensive end. Iowa, that has eluded them all season long. Cook right down Broadway. That's sponsored by SoFi, rethinking personal finance. Everything favoring Ohio State into the shot clock attempt. No good. 27-point lead for Chris Holtman's three. In the second half, Iowa shooting only. 35% from the field. I mean, that's tremendous defense. Yeah, you've said that from the jump, but people may not realize how good this Ohio State defense is. And they're much more physical than they look as well, Brandon. You know, they don't, they don't have a, a bunch of huge guys. You know, Weston's got good size and painful. These guys are feet. They see daily. Those are the most popular. Uh, he's a crowd favorite. They were calling for him five minutes ago. Finally, Chris Holtman brought him off the bench. Uh, if he scores, they'll really go crazy. Oh, yeah. Put it up, Joey Lane. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tremendous challenge next Thursday where you and I will be at Penn State. Look at Joey Lane. Yeah. 
That's going to be an interesting game, of course. Ohio State looking for some revenge. That's their only conference loss. That's right. And Penn State plays very well at home, so it would be a fantastic matchup between those two teams. That last game of the season in Indiana for Ohio State, that's not going to be any given. No, that's true because Hoosier's playing a lot better. Juan Morgan is good as anybody in the conference. Mike Potter, that might be your explanation, Mark. Just put five Buckeyes in double figure scoring. Potter averages four, as you say. He's now hitting 10. And the other road game for Ohio State at Michigan, and then they'll have Rutgers at home. Jallo to Lane. Can't get it on his second attempt of the evening. Iowa beat. It's a Michigan team that's trying to right the ship a little bit earlier in the week. And, but they seem to be in pretty good position. Maybe not for the double buy, but definitely for the turn. Andrew Dockett is in the game. And they tried to throw him the ball. <laughs> Chris Holtman sitting there trying not to smile, but he's actually <laughs> grinning right now. <laughs> yep. Young knew he had an open teammate. <laughs> trying to keep a straight face about it. Andrew Dockage wants to be a coach, so he's always standing up, pointing out directions, and Kyle Young thought he was out there on the game. That's fantastic. Oh, fadeaway bank. Ryan Creener, the sophomore. The kid trying to battle his way back from a concussion. Less than one minute remaining in the game. He had a couple minutes against Michigan State, but good to see him back out there. Crowd imploring Lane to put another shot up. Instead, he turns it over. But no trap game tonight for Ohio State, that's for sure. Iowa went back and forth early. There were five lead changes in the first 10 minutes, but since then, it's been all Buckeyes. Yeah, the Buckeyes, they really make adjustments well, even at halftime or throughout the game. Purdue, an impressive effort, no let 